Hey guys and welcome to another video with me, Little Fink, and today we are going to do a wallpaper tutorial. And yes, I am back, and who knows for how long. You're gonna start with a blank canvas, and then you're going to get your rectangular marquee tool, which is right over here. And then you're just gonna go right click and select rectangular marquee tool. And then you're going to select the top part. It's okay if it's uneven because that's the look that we're going for. And then you're going to get your paint bucket tool and fill it with different colors. Press Ctrl D to deselect the selection that we made earlier. And then you're going to fill it with lighter color on top and a darker color at the bottom. It depends on the color scheme that you're going for. Next, you're going to get your rectangle tool and you're going to hold down Shift to make it a perfect square. Then you're going to select a color kind of relevant since we're going to put an image later on so yeah next you're gonna get your ellipse tool and you're gonna hold down shift same thing to make sure that it's a perfect circle and I'm just gonna make this white and the other one gray so we could see what's going on in here I'm just going to resize some things to make sure that they look good together next you're gonna search for a marble texture and I'm just going to copy it and paste it onto the canvas. I rotated mine to 90 degrees so that the orientation would be the landscape. And I'm going to put that underneath the square and the circle. Next, we're going to get a mountain texture. And these are just the things that I searched for. I was looking for something that can be easily blended into the background. And I found this one. And I will link all of the images that I use in the description box down below. And you're just gonna go right click, copy the image, and control V and paste that onto your canvas. And you're gonna put it on top right over here. And then you're gonna change your blend mode. And I use multiply, but you could use other ones. And then I lower the opacity so that it would blend easily into the background. So it's just like a really plain texture. Next, you're gonna get your eraser tool, lower your eraser's opacity so that it will be. You know a bit softer to blend and make sure that the hardness is at zero and yeah keep blending that so it looks like it's really part of there next you're gonna search for photoshop transparent pattern i'm i really like this pattern if you can't tell anyway you're just gonna copy that and paste that onto your canvas place it on top of the square right click play clipping mask and I'm resizing it so that it would fit the square. Next, you're gonna go get a Vintage Rose PNG because I like the way how it looks. And what you're gonna do, you're gonna save it and then import it to your Photoshop. Don't do what I did. I copied it and pasted it. Made my life harder. Anyway, you're gonna put it on top of the circle. Then you're going to duplicate the circle. And then I'm going to change the top part of the circle into gray and so you can see the difference. And I'm going to resize it by pressing Ctrl T and making it a bit smaller, creating like a stroke outside of it. Then you're going to go back to your rows and go right click, create clipping mask. Now, what I'm doing here, I'm just resizing it and putting it by the side because we're going to fill it with another image by searching forest landscape. I always add Tumblr to my searches because they look better in my opinion. But whatever. Rearrange the layers, put it under the rows so it will be included in the clipping mask. Then you are going to search some petal textures. Don't worry, all of these will be linked in the description box down below. And then you're going to get a lightning texture and also a bird texture. And this will all be for the top part of the wallpaper. Next, you're going to get a PNG that you want. Whatever person you want to include, your face or somebody else's face, that will be fine. And again, save your PNGs. Don't copy and paste it. I don't know what I'm doing. You can just see that I'm a professional. Note the sarcasm. You're going to basically rearrange layers, put your PNG underneath, like what I'm doing. Just look at how it looks. <laughs> I'm good at explaining things and then you're gonna go Control J to duplicate the PNG and then at the bottom one you're gonna go Control U and then turn it white and then you're just going to move it to the right like what I'm doing to create like a shadowy effect and next you're going to go back and get now your bird PNG textures link 
in the description box and then I'm going to go place it go file place and select the image where is it it's here I blurred it out because there are some things that you shouldn't see because it's personal stuff anyway rearrange the layers again put it underneath your image rasterize layer if needed you're gonna go right click rasterize that layer and then you're going to go control U to make it white so it will fit the theme that we're going for. Next, you're going to copy this one. No need to save it. Just copy it and paste it. And then you're going to change the blend mode into lighten because that that works. And you're going to get like electricity. That looks nice. Anyway, next you're going to get the petal texture. And again, the blend mode would be on lighten. And I'm just going to rotate it so... It would balance out the symmetry that we're going for. Next, we're gonna get a second PNG. And again, save it. Don't copy and paste PNG because you're gonna get a black background. It's not nice. And basically here, I'm resizing things to make sure that everything's proportionate in my eyes. And then I'm doing some recolors. Too complicated for me to explain in a tutorial like this and don't worry, I will do a separate tutorial for things like these. You don't have to. I'm just really picky with my colors and I just like everything to match. And yeah. Okay. So I'm going to merge the recolors with the specific layer only because that's the only thing that I want recolored. So it would fit everything. Doing the same thing with the inside of the circle and as you can see now it's a bit more orangey than it was before i'm i'm really into orange and yellow lately this video this clip is like this tutorial was recorded like six months ago i believe before i went on hiatus but yeah you're going to copy lyrics from whatever song that you want and i use the font times new roman and this one is on white and then the second one would be on black. Same font, th Times New Roman. And just put it by the sides and whatever. And who is that? Oh my god. It seems like everyone is cleaning the house. Okay, next we're gonna get the title of the song. And I'm use the font Ventography, which I apparently removed in my new laptop. Because if you can tell, this is a new laptop and the footage was from my old laptop and this footage was from six months ago if you want an update video about my life tell me i will do it next get your png to blend everything together i still haven't fixed that issue where the png won't be accepted if you drag it into your canvas i don't know what's going on i tried everything so i have no solution yet this is the end of it and i'm just gonna add a watermark with my youtube channel link down there that's basically it you guys thank you guys for watching the images that i use in this video will be linked in the description box and the wallpapers that i've used will be on deviant art if i can find them i believe they're there let's pray to god that it's there Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to give this video a big ol' thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Comment down below what you want to see in the next video if you want to know what happened. Where was I the last six months? Where have I been? Nobody knows. Anyway, what was I saying? Subscribe for more videos! I will try to upload every week. Pre-record if I have to. Bye guys!